welcome back. In this video, we will use OpenVenom model to our person detection. Depending on your hardware, you must install your OpenVenom package to run our model. Refer to this documentation whether you are on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, or Raspbian. Assuming that you have installed and activate your OpenVenom environment, you have to download this code from my github then also this model pedestrian detection ada 002 in a zip file this is optional if you want to use this video in mp4 format or you can use your web camera i have already downloaded all of this so we will now extract this two files Then inside our person detection main, we will create a folder named model. Also, we will create a new folder named video. Then we put this person media mp4 into our video folder. We will put these two models inside the model folder we created earlier. Then we will open this file in our VS Code editor. Assuming that you have already installed your Envino environment, let's get started. Let me explain this code a little. We'll take model to use the pedestrian detection ADAS002.xml. We set our device to use CPU. We set our input stream to use the person media.mp4 video inside the video folder. You can use zero for your webcam. We define our font equals to cv2.font Hershey duplex. We will create our main function. We define our model XML and model bin. Then we set our IE equals to IE core. Uh, then we set our net to read our model. In this line, we take exec net to load our network with network net, num request is equal to our device, which is CPU. Then we pre process our input image as batch size, channel, height, and width. We will use CAP for our CV2 video capture with an input stream. Then we set our core request ID is equals to zero. In entering while loop, we will define our inf start is equals to time that time. So that we can get our FPS value. We resize our frame into in frame, transpose it, then reshape our in frame to batch size, channel, height, and width. Then we will start inference. When the inference cycle has finished, we will define our inf end is equals to time that time 
then we take that time is equals to inf end minus inf start to get our fps value then we take result as our detection output then we will make a for loop for our output result with object to extract the probability and box coordinates then we create an if statement for probability results if the probability result is greater than 0 0.08 we will get this coordinates x min and y min for upper left corner and also we will get the x max and the y max coordinates for lower right corner thus creating a bounding box taking size is equals to x max minus x min divided by 160 so that our input text visualization will vary depending on the box size with this cv2 rectangle we will visualize our bounding box in each frame then we will create a shaded yellow rectangle as a box header to input this input text name person with a black color then we calculate our fps value as inf time message with float in two decimal points then we create our shaded black rectangle and print our yellow colored inf time message into this shaded black rectangle then we display our frame if escape key is pressed the program will break then cv destroy all windows then we will now run our program